one, we have a list of names here. Uh, these are just random names, and I would like these inserted into here, just like this. Oops. That's the way I want it to look. Okay, so let's do, let's start with our names. This is a CSV file. Um, I have deleted all of my columns that I don't need. I'm only interested in the first name. Um, it is very important that this be a column name with one word, no spaces. It cannot be this. You have to change that. So I just changed mine to name, whatever, as long as it doesn't have a space. Yes. Um, ready? Let's add some text to this because I want this to say not just Lily. I want it to say Dear Lily um, with a trailing comma. Uh, let's add a We're going to use a function to do that. Um, let's add a column before. We're going to do a function here equals. So now we got a function. Um, I want to say, oops, Dear um, with a space. Uh, let's add on the actual name and then add on a comma just like that and let's insert that see what it did all it did was it did dear space took the name and added a comma uh, let's do this to all the names let's just take this and drag it down to apply that function to every row there we go and um, let's name this name extended or something doesn't matter it just needs to be no spaces um, let's export this um, as a CSV CSV do not check this don't need it Unicode UTF-8 is what you want um, let's put this on our desktop we'll create a new um, folder called uh, mail merge document. I'll create another new folder and put my CSV list in here. And let's just call this list of names. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's go to Illustrator. And now we're going to use the variable panel, variables panel. Let's open that. Uh, we're going to import our um, what they call a data source file in either XML or CSV. We have CSV, so let's import this. Let's find our file we just got through making. Let's hit open. Um, if you leave a space in one of those, uh, if you leave a space here, you will get an error. Just letting you know. Um, let's assign name extended is the only the only column I'm interested in. Let's, um, we want that to go here. So let's just, uh, select this text over here and select um, name extended. And I'm going to click this button that says make text dynamic. When you do, um, you can choose data set here. This are all the rows that are in my, there are 31 rows because one is taken up. There's 31 rows there. We can view every one of these and just see what they look like. Make sure that they all fit. We have plenty of room. <clears throat> the longest one is Dear Madison, number 25. So let's have a look at number 25 to make sure that she fits. Um, I wouldn't mind having a little bit, having that a little bit larger since we have plenty of room there. Um, so now let's export. Um, uh, multiple PDFs of our document with each name, um, each greeting here um, changed. Um, so our goal is that we want to have a PDF that has, was it 31 pages, each of them with a unique name. Um, what we're going to do here, there's a few steps to do this. Um, let's open up our action panel. We're going to create an action um, which we're going to repeat uh, which will save a copy of this. Um, so if you'll just follow along, um, here's some more actions I've already recorded. I'm going to select this and uh, let's do a new, you can click on create new action, name it something. Um, mine is going to be 
save a copy as a PDF is what I want to do. It doesn't matter what you name it. Uh, once you press record, uh, we are now recording all of your um, clicks and actions and stuff. Uh, let's do save a copy. We want this. Uh, we want these actions to be repeated on all of our different records of names. Uh, let's put it on desktop under mail merge. I'm, I'm gonna create a new folder and call it my document. This is what I'm after. It's the whole reason why we're doing this. I'm gonna choose PDF because that's what the print company likes. I'm gonna click save here. I, uh, use whatever you want. Uh, that's what I like to use. And let's press stop because we're done recording actions. Um, Okay, now so now moving on quickly, uh, let's repeat that process um, for all of our records. We have 31, I think it was. Um, click on this little hamburger menu next to your action panel. Click on batch. Uh, choose the action you just saved, which it is actually already chosen here for me. Um, make sure you set source to data sets. Um, this is a little buggy. Um, I have found, but don't worry. Um, it would be nice if you could just uh, choose save and close because that's what you want it to do um, with each file that you make. Um, do the thing, save it and close it, doesn't matter. Uh, just trust me. Um, click on override action, save commands. Choose where you want this to go. Uh, let's put it in mail merge, my doc. Notice this is the copy that I used to create my action with. We're going to delete that because that's just a test version. We'll do that in a minute. Um, choose how you want your file name to read. I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, do the name of your file plus uh, the data set name, um, which, you know, this is data set 25. Uh, you'll see how this affects in a minute. Um, let's do OK. You're going to see how it's running. Each one of your data sets replaces the name and it's saving a copy of that. Let's let it run through all 31. Almost done. And we are done. Let's go to Finder, open up our folder and see what we have. Let's see, mail merge my document. Here's the first one that we made that was just the one I used to create my action. We don't need this. Let's delete it. Let's trash it so it doesn't confuse us. Um, Okay, here you go. Uh, we had 31 records. Do, do, do. Here are your 31 files. Okay, so you're probably thinking, bruh, I don't want to have to print each individual 31 files. You are exactly right. We're going to do um, one more step and it's going to make all that go away. Uh, let's combine all these PDFs into one PDF with multiple pages. Um, select your first um, PDF here at the top of the list. Right click, let's open it with preview. Did you know that PDF will actually combine PDF pages into one PDF? Yes, it will. Uh, here you go. Um, let's make sure you're viewing your thumbnails and make sure you have this thumbnail selected. Um, you're going to go um, edit, insert page from file. <clears throat> we're going to insert and let's uh, choose what was it called that was on my desktop and it's under mail merge my document choose all the other pages we're on page one right now we want to insert all these pages after page one we're going to click open and you will see let's go back to the top Here's my page one, and it inserted all the other pages. And if you don't believe me, I'll just zoom out so you can see all the pages that were inserted. Let's make sure they line up. The very last record is Dear Sugar. <laughs> Let's look at that one. Let's zoom in so you can see it. There it is, Dear Sugar. Can you see that? There you go. And the very first record is Dear Roxy. Let's go all the way back to the top. Scroll, 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 scroll. There's the first one, Dear Roxy. We are good to go, and now we can print this if we want. Um, 
let's go back to finder and clean up um, let's close preview why not um, preview uh, preview automatically saves that um, if you look at your first PDF here that we combined you'll see that all my pages are already in there they are in there so I do not need all of these other pages and with that we are done multiple page PDF with mail merge.